I'm Pat Bodger. I'm a professor in electric power engineering in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the University of Canterbury. I've been here for about 30 years. I started as a lecturer and have worked my way through and been head of department. Uh, in 2003, I started the Electric Power Engineering Centre. I've done a lot of research in power systems analysis, but currently it's on energy analysis and modelling, uh, appropriate technology development, and also high voltage. This is our high voltage laboratory. It's the only one in a university in New Zealand. Here we can generate 1.4 million volts of a lightning impulse, and we can also generate up to 300,000 volts of mains frequency AC. So come on in and let's have a look. Here we can create flashovers, we can create sustained arcs, and we can even liven you up in our Faraday cage. But really this is about uh, teaching students the fundamentals of high voltage and electric fields. We can see things here which you can't see out in the real world. This is an example of a new type of transformer we're developing. It's a superconducting transformer and operates with liquid nitrogen. Over here we have a new experiment uh, looking at heating logs for export. They need to be uh, disinfected before they're put on ships and this is using high voltage electricity to do that. This apparatus here is our lightning impulse generator. It generates up to 1.4 million volts and it's used to testing equipment uh, that goes out into the field and might be subject to lightning impulses. This is our Faraday cage. It's made of metal so that when you step inside you can be elevated up to high voltage and you're completely safe. Over here we have what we call the Ash House. It's a project that's investigating the contamination of suspension insulators with volcanic ash. This is something which uh, knocks out transmission lines every now and again when we have a volcanic eruption. The sphere gaps. These are used to measure high voltage uh, under lightning impulse or mains frequency. We get a flash over from the top sphere down to the bottom. This bit of apparatus is for demonstration purposes. It put high voltage across the two rods and it creates an arc across here and then the heat of the arc makes the arc rise and disappear out the top. And once it does that, it restrikes here and carries on. It's known as the Jacob's Ladder. For electric power engineering, the high voltage laboratory gives our students a unique experience. It's a very practical one and it underpins the fundamentals of the power systems that they're going to work with. <laughs>